Hey, what's up everyone? This is Rick from Tag Hill coming at you with another video. Uh, today I want to go over what I had mentioned in a previous video, um, which was the Swiss Tech Multi-Tool. I had talked about uh, Walmart selling an Ozark tool, or Ozark Trails tool, and that it was dramatically better than the Swiss Tech at half the cost. And today I want to go ahead and show you that, as well as several other knives that are in that series um, that Walmart is doing. Uh, so here's the multi-tool. Comes in this nice little sheath. Has just a standard little webbing for a belt clip. I'm sorry, belt loop. Go ahead and pop it out. There's the multi-tool. Spring-loaded pliers. Let's go ahead and check the uh, plier alignment. It's a little off. You can see that there. Uh, it has needle nose pliers, your standard pair of pliers, wire cutters. If we go ahead and look at some of the tools. On this side we have a serrated blade. It's not very sharp at all, but it will work. Then we have a small flat head. Then we have, oh, let me get it out, there we go, a larger flat head. And then we have a file, which is just a straight file on one side and a diamond edge file on the other side, which you can also use this for uh, sharpening knives uh, in emergencies or whatever. Then on this side we have bottle opener, can opener. We have an awl, which some people don't find very useful, but it's good for if you're uh, needing to drill a hole or if you work with leather or anything like that. You have a Phillips head screwdriver. And then we have a standard blade. Now this is not very sharp either. It's sharp enough that you can cut through some material with it, but it's not really super sharp. However, for $3.82, which is the price of this, you get an amazing multi-tool for less than 4 bucks. Next one in the series, we'll get this one first. This is the wood clip knife. It has a 3.5 inch stainless steel blade. 3.75 inch wood handle and a pocket clip. Go ahead and pop that out of there. It's very pretty. Makes me think like a, a bushcraft style uh, pocket knife. I like these wood handles. They're pretty smooth. The, uh, the pocket clip is not very deep carry. And it is right hand tip down only. The blade is made of stainless steel. I'm assuming that all of these are made of uh, 440 steel. Um, they're all made in China. Uh, the edge on this is, is pretty good. It's not super, super sharp, but it's definitely good enough uh, as a usable knife. I like the fact that they did like these little scallops along the, uh, the liners. Also has a little bit of jimping here. It is a liner lock. Blade alignment is uh, actually really good. There is no thumb stud on this or anything. That's why I say it's more like a bushcraft style or an older style uh, pocket knife. I really do like this one. It's very nice. Oh, let's go ahead and check for blade wobble. No blade wobble. Front and back. No front and back. Very nice. Okay. Next one is the camo clip knife. It has a 2.75 inch camouflage blade, a 3.5 inch stainless steel handle, and a pocket clip. Let's go ahead and pull that one out. I like that one too. It's very pretty. Uh, the camo looks looks kind of wicked. The, uh, the pocket clip is obviously not very deep carry. Uh, it is right hand tip down carry only. It is a frame lock, which is pretty nice. Let's go ahead and close her down. She has one thumb stud and it's only on one side. So for all you lefties out there, I'm sorry. Uh, blade alignment is pretty good. 
the lock is pretty positive and you can see there very nice knife and I like it let's go to the next one this one I really liked it is the serrated clip knife it has a 3 inch titanium coated blade a 3.75 inch aluminum handle and a pocket clip the uh, the scales here are actually like a rubberized material it's very nice uh, it has the disc opening instead of a thumb stud it has a very deep pocket clip on it very deep so it'll hide in your pocket it is a frame lock let's check the blade alignment pretty good like I said all in all this is a uh, this is one of my favorite ones out of the the series it's very nice I like that one okay and the last one I have in the package and then I have another one that I had uh, I had purchased that um, I opened the package for a while back that was the first one in the series that I had bought this one is my favorite one this is the tan flip opening knife it has a 3 inch stainless steel blade and a 4 inch G10 handle and a pocket clip let's go ahead and pull that one out yeah that's a pretty knife right there I like that one I like the blade design on that a lot I also like the finger guard here which is also the flipper for it it has this like scalloped G10 it's very very nice <coughs> excuse me you can see here the jimping some jimping there no jimping on the front it is a liner lock the pocket clip is not very deep carry but it's it's very nice it works very well the uh, blade alignment seems to be very good this one flips open pretty nicely I really like this one right here all right and then the uh, the last one that I got is already opened and that, this is it it's also a flipper but it's a lot tighter it doesn't really want to fly out of there I really love that that blade design too that's what that's what made me buy this one originally in the first place and it's that titanium coating uh, it's a liner lock the pocket clip is not very deep but it's still uh, fairly usable uh, you can see there the blade alignment is fairly good and uh, I like it I like the camo design on it too it's just an aluminum handle now these knives are made by Ozark Trail they are made in China so I'm assuming that the blade still is 440 stainless steel um, I highly recommend these though at less than four dollars a piece you're not going to find a better knife and if you think you can uh, please let me know in the comments let me know if you know of a better knife uh, for that price range um, these things I, I think are, are excellent EDC knives for utility um, opening packages cutting boxes anything like that uh, I would not recommend them for defensive knives but for any 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 type of utility they're they're amazing knives uh, not to mention the fact that I mean if you break one of these are you really are you really going to uh, to feel bad or be upset that you broke a four dollar knife instead of uh, maybe one of your more expensive knives uh, I know I wouldn't so uh, if I can do anything to help anybody save some money that's definitely what I want to do um, I wouldn't call my channel a budget channel but I want to go more in that direction if I'm able I'm still gonna do some stuff that's a little higher end but uh, budget stuff is is definitely where I want to go you know because I know a lot of people don't have a lot of money and uh, if I can help them find good deals then I'm definitely uh, definitely wanting to do that uh, so anyway if you like this this video please uh, comment like and subscribe uh, share it to your friends you know uh, if, if you if you have a knife that that you think is a better EDC for utility use that uh, you can get for less than four dollars please let me know um, I would love to hear from from anyone who's watching my channel uh, like I said there is one more uh, knife in this series that I do not have 
um, because I lost it. Uh, I bought it at the same time I bought this one. So, uh, if I find it, I'll do a small review on it and just let you guys see it. Anyway, this is Rick from Tack Hill. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one.